Another thing that you can do to make your activities more kid friendly for your students is to record yourself reading the directions. To do this, we're going to use the program Wii Video. You can access Wii Video from Class Link, and when it opens, you're going to be presented with the dashboard. For our purposes for this, we're going to create a podcast because all we need is the audio. So I'm going to select Podcast. And Wii Video is going to ask me where I want to save the file because I already have multiple projects available. I'm going to hit Next. If you don't get asked that question, don't worry. That's just the way mine is. And then down here, you'll see Get Close to the Mic and click Record. We certainly recommend for this process that you have a headset with a microphone. But if you don't, you can certainly record using the built-in microphone on your laptop or Chromebook. Simply hit Record. It's going to count you down. Three, two, one. One, and then you can begin recording whatever it is that you want to say. In this case, I would say, complete the problem below. Find 5 plus what equals 10. Start with 5. Draw counters to make 10. When you're finished recording, hit stop. You can preview recording if you wish, or if you're happy with it, simply hit the blue button that says save. We video is going to save your recording and drop it into our timeline mode. All you need to do at this point, if you're happy with it, is hit the finish button. If you need to do some editing, if you need to clip part of your audio recording, you can click on it and you can use the scissors or grab the ends and make it shorter or longer if you need to. For our purposes, I'm simply going to hit finish. It's going to prompt me to give a title or my export and I'm going to hit set. At this point the only thing I need to do is select that I'm ready for it to save. Now for purposes of this, which I suggest doing, it's going to make this a lot easier for you, is under destinations make sure that you have Google Drive selected. This will then put a copy of the file in your Google Drive so it'll be ready to insert into your slide presentation. So I'm going to hit Google Drive and I'm going to hit export. Depending on the length of time that your recording is will depend on the amount of time that it takes for the audio to be saved. This is a 15 second recording. It shouldn't take all that long, but again, part of this is going to depend on my bandwidth and your, uh, your Wi-Fi that you might have in your house. Once it's done, you can actually close this window even before it's finished. You can see here it's counting me down. So you don't have to keep this window open. Feel free to close it. And I'm then going to go back in here into my slideshow presentation. So once you've recorded all of the audio, you need to put it into your slideshow. Now, in order to do that, you're going to go to your insert and you have the option for audio. Through the magic of Wii Video and Google working together, you will have in your My Drive a folder that's already going to be set up where all of these files are going to go. Because this is something that Slides is realizing that I need and there's a certain type of file that it's going to look for, it's actually pulling for me all of my sound or audio files that I have in my Google Drive. In this case, my first one that's going to pop up is that demo podcast. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit the select button in the bottom corner. From here, Google is going to go ahead and just add this little megaphone to my slide. I can move that where I would like it to be. Notice it provides the countdown so students can see how long that piece of audio is going to last. The one last thing that you really have to make sure um, that you do is to make sure you set the sharing permissions on the audio file so that students are going to be able to hear them when you click on it. If I were to click on this audio file now, it's going to play for me because it's in my drive and I have the rights to all of the audio in my drive. My students do not. So I need to make sure I go to my drive. And again, if you've never been in Wii Video before, it will create for you a folder called Wii Video. I can go into that folder and I'm going to find the file that I'm looking for. What I need to do there, it's right here. You can even see it makes it that little headphones as your icon. I can right click on this and I need to set it to get shareable link. You can see it's going to tell me that it's off, so I need to toggle this on. I can leave this to anyone in AACPS with the link can view because our students are going to have to be logged in to see the file to begin with. So that's going to be perfectly fine. So now at this point, if I go back into my presentation as a student, I will be able to listen to the audio.